to North Carolina Republican Congressman Robert Pittenger, who supports the president tariffs. Uh, Representative, thanks, thanks for joining us. So many of your Republican colleagues on both sides of the aisle uh, uh, ha have had this amazing knee-jerk reaction to the point uh, that it's, it's, it, it's, it's sort of, to me, really confusing. Yeah, we all know about 1930 and Smoot-Hawley. That was on 30,000, 20,000 items at the end of a 10-year uh, economic excess around the world uh, after the major crash in the stock market. And now we're talking about a targeted deal. When does America stand up for the American worker? When do we kind of figure out that at this rate we'll ultimately have no steelmaking capacity, no manufacturing capacity, and that's supposed to be utopia? Yes, sir. I, I support the president. You know, we have probably the first time in our history a businessman with the capacity to be a negotiator, unprecedented. You know, we've had predatory trade practices from our mercantile adversaries for several decades. And the president says now is the time to bring fairness to the process. So I, I respect his process. I respect what he's doing. Uh, we need to have a fair uh, playing ground. Uh, our competitors have... Uh, not entered the arena in the same level as us. When China entered the WTO, we assumed that they would have uh, market-driven uh, trade practices, and we just haven't seen that. And isn't it true uh, the WTO is almost a toothless organization? We put, we have all of these, uh, you know, we go, we go there, and it takes years of adjudication, and then the, and then the cure usually lasts for one or two years, and we're back at it once again. It's like it's a vicious, almost laughable, laughable circle, and except. We're losing jobs along the way. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got a company in Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Pipe and Foundry. Uh, they are a remarkable company. They've got six plants, 1,400 employees, and there's a Chinese company that's has stolen their name. Uh, they make cast iron uh, plumbing, and uh, they stole their name. They produce the products, even use their own business cards. It's taken years to process this out to get some adjudication to the process. Well, what is it with your, your colleagues that, uh, you know, that the knee-jerk reaction is that somehow this is going to, uh, uh, you know, send us into a Great Depression? And, not, and also understanding that, uh, you know, a so-called trade war, if we do have a trade war, where is China going to sell its $505 billion worth of stuff they sold us last year? What's the alternative market? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We've got a, about a $568 billion trade deficit, $365 billion of that with China. So uh, people talk about the cost to the American economy. The average car, $36,000 car, the cost may go up to $160. A can of beer costs will go up about a penny. So let's not overplay the hand in terms of the cost to the American consumer. Yeah. I think we need to let Trump be Trump. Uh, he's a great negotiator. We're in a process right now. Let's let the man play out his hand. You know, he, he's been second-guessed so many times. He's been people doubted his uh, 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 interests, his objectives. You know, they called him out uh, about the Muslims uh, when he campaigned. They said he'd never be able to work with the Muslim world but it's because he called out Islamic terrorists as being part of the Muslim world. And 55 countries came to Riyadh, uh, Muslim and Arab countries, to meet with him at that time. So I trust the president's judgment. I, I trust where he's going. He's going to do the right thing for the American people. Yeah, without a doubt, the Saudi Arabian trip was a, a roaring success. The tax cuts have been a roaring success. And yes, before sir. I let you go, I do want to ask, have you spoken with uh, folks in your district? Because the feeling I get from a lot of Americans is that, you know, they're not dumb. The punditry class thinks that they're dumb. They understand that there will be a slight increase to the everyday goods. But it seems to me that they're telling me, hey, I'm willing to do that if we can change the course of things and start to rebuild manufacturing, steel capabilities and other capabilities in this country. Yes, sir. They do recognize it. They see that uh, China didn't play fair. Uh, if you want to do business in China in, in any term of reciprocity, you've got to give her over your intellectual property. That's not right. The American people want fairness, and they see through all this. And uh, throughout my district, uh, they support the president. Yes, sir. Well, I thank you very much for coming on. And, and, uh, to, and, and, I, and I think uh, you're right. I think we're on to something here that a lot of people are going to be surprised. And when it's all said and done, it was another stroke of genius. Appreciate it. Absolutely.